Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So there is a $65,000 tournament going on right now. It's called ESL and the qualifiers for it were a couple of days ago. So I'm going to show you guys the matches that we played in to qualify. Um, it was against a pretty good team that we actually did lose to a couple days later. So uh, it's a pretty good team. We're going to go over the matches. We'll go over the comps and all that stuff. But before we get into the rest of the video, let's talk a little bit about a game I've been playing, Blitz Rise of Heroes. Rise of Heroes is a very captivating game that includes 70 campaign chapters and over 50 heroes in the game. There's a lot of ways to play and communicate with your friends in the game. One of them being by making your own guild or by joining one. There is a huge safety in numbers, so I would highly recommend joining a guild because it can only help you in the game. You can go on guild hunts by attacking Moltar two times a day and defending your settlements to help rank up your guild and become a higher level. You can also play the new PvE mode Treasure Maze which has a very complex network of passageways. There is a ton to do in that PvE mode. I would definitely check it out. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Although the Flaming Fortress is probably the most fun I have in the game. It's very enticing. It's very challenging but I do love a challenge. There are 500 floors in the building Number one, the easiest. Number 500, the hardest. The higher up you go, the harder. But it is very challenging. I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Now, finally, there's the dice event where you can earn tickets by completing daily tasks and competing in certain battles. And last but definitely not least, do not forget about the referral system. It is much more fun to play games with your friends. So if you can get your friends to play along with you, definitely do so. And by using your referral code, you will also get stuff in game that'll help you out. Thank you to Rise of Heroes for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into it. So the first map is going to be Sneaky Fields, and this one was kind of simple for us. Uh, they left Crow open, and we really liked playing with Crow, so we went with first pick Crow. They followed that up by taking Gale and Sandy, which are two really good brawlers. Um, Ems is really good, like really, really, really good into Sandy, especially just on lane. Um, so we decided to go with the M's because it's just a really well-rounded lane And then we just went with the dog because we didn't really know we wanted to go last pick We didn't want to get tanked on and they already had a Gale uh, And a Sandy so if they had a tank they would have kind of a lot of firepower and a pretty easy way of scoring So we decided to go with this um, And I mean, I think a pretty big outcome for us. They last picked Rico. I don't really know about the Rico pick I don't think it's that smart um, but everyone's kind of just winning their lanes. It's really easy with Crow because you can kind of just see where they are the entirety of the time in the bush. If you hit two people, you can get a double slow, and that basically just allows you to win your lanes really easily. And OG's just breaking open his portion of the map, which makes things really simple for him. Zara's doing a pretty good job. It's not really the easiest lane against a Rico, although I do think he has an advantage. Just because if the Rico does hit shots and, you know, hits its bounces, there's really nothing you can do sometimes. But, um... Really good playing this game so far from us. Really nice double kill there by Zara. Actually a triple kill. Never mind, I stole his kill. But that's going to be a pretty easy game one. So let's show you guys game two and show you guys what happened. All right, so here we go into the next game. And again, the same thing, same comps, obviously. This one does go a little bit differently, though. Um, so instead of just running in a straight line at the start, Shine does take his time. And instead of having the Gale mid, they have Rico mid. I get a double slow and we try and push up and get some positioning here. Shine does go down. Zar goes for a goal. Unfortunately, he's not able to get it. So at this point, I'm kind of like, let's just stay alive. Let's make sure we don't die. Um, they do get the ball in the corner. And with Gale, it's really hard to score when the ball is in the corner. Uh, we don't have too many, you know, like scoring conditions to say. Um, Gale's really good for scoring and tanks are really good for scoring. We basically have to team wipe if we want to score. Um, so OG's just kind of like slowly chipping away at the net. You guys can see he broke part of their goal and then like the post as well. Um, and we're just trying to hold position right now. So we're doing a really good job at that and just not feeding supers and just slowly, you know, doing our thing. Um, I, I was pretty tempted to jump on the ball there, but I elect not to. Um, and OG is just going to keep breaking. He's going to break that left side now. So they basically only have two boxes. The, the net is completely wide open. We get a good double slow there. Uh, Chepo almost kills me with that Rico super. I don't even know how, but uh, things are going pretty well. Zar's doing his job. OG's doing his job. Everyone's kind of doing their thing. Um, good gadget there by Chepo. I was going to die to him if I didn't jump, so I thought I might as well jump, kill him, and go for Poyo. I thought I would kill Poyo, but I didn't end up killing him, obviously. So um, that kind of threw positioning a little bit. Uh, but then we get a nice double slow right after that, and then we're also able to kill Chepo, get the power up. So things are going back, you know, kind of back to normal. 
Uh, but I am out of slows at this point, so we do have to kind of, you know, figure out how we're going to score a goal. At this point, you know, we're kind of content with just waiting it out, chipping, waiting till we get a perfect opportunity because we don't want to go down. Fortunately, though, Zard does there, and this is kind of their opening to move up the map. They haven't really had one yet so far this game because when I went down, um, they held it down really well, and I don't have a slow, so they can kind of just get hit a couple times, move up, and get bush position, and that's what they do. Um, luckily for us, though, again, uh, their cop is a little bit weak. The Rico pick was really weird, and although Rico can pop off, don't get me wrong, um, I think it's a pretty weird brawler to pick into this. Um, so we're going to be able to get Chepo really low. I don't know if he dies there. He does die there. Shine's holding his gadget. He wants to go for a goal. And then Poyo has his super, but they kind of just waste their supers and stuff. I don't know, and their positioning. So now we're triple powered up. I mean... At this point, it's kind of free for us. I go for a shot here. I try and score down the middle, but Shine read it. He's able to get the kill. Um, but there's really nothing that they can do at this point. Zar gets a kill pretty easily. Poyo kind of messes up the uh, the wall. and uh, Or not the wall, sorry. The gadget. And that's going to be a pretty flawless first set. So it's going to be first set for us. It's a best of five, so one nothing us. Let's hop into the second set. Show you guys what happened. So going to set number two, we have my personal favorite map in the game right now, Safe Zone. And it's my favorite just because, I mean, look at the meta. We have Piper on the field. We got Brock. We got Lola. We got 8-Bit, Colt, Bell. I, I like this more than I like playing with tanks or mid-range brawlers. This is my bread and butter. I love playing with uh, with range. Um, so this is right now my favorite map in the game. They actually, I think, have a really good comp here. Uh, it was an interesting draft they had but um i mean they end up with a lot of dps and their lanes are actually pretty good into ours so i'm gonna go down there to start off versus shine we get eight percent but versus a comp like theirs where they have a lot of damage you don't want to go in do eight percent and die and give them positioning this is kind of a toxic curve i don't know how that curve hit that was a little bit rude but we get a nice kill there on chepo and zara is doing his thing he's holding it down on the right side og as well holding it down really well Shine's going to TP up. We're just going to jump and get rid of that. And then Shine's going to just be kind of stranded. Easy kill over there on him. And even though they have the damage comp, we still have, you know, a Piper, a Brock, a Lola. Um, so we do a lot of damage as well. And as you guys can see, we haven't, you know, really shot the safe too much. And we've already done 50%. So, I mean, really good start by us. At this point, we're kind of just shooting away at the safe. Brock super does a ton of damage. We're going to be able to get the kill over there on Shine. And then Zar is kind of just looking for his Lola clone right now. He's able to get it. And then at this point, we're just like, all right, let's just shoot the safe and end this game. Um, and we're going to end that one pretty fast. So a pretty good game one. Uh, let's hop over into game two. And that was actually a really good game. So let's hop into that one and show you guys what happened. So hopping into game number two. I think they switch up their strategy a little bit. I think they swap their lanes maybe. Yeah, they're going to get Chepo on Lola, which is really smart because Jack... Or, well, that's his name, Jack. I'm used to calling him Jack. Chepo um he counters lola so we def you definitely want your bell on a lola rather than bell v brock because bell v brock is kind of just like the same brawler except brock is a little bit slower shot speed but a higher uh explosive radius so it's kind of just pick your poison when you're laning that versus him just countering czar and you guys can see he's actually doing really good work he's pushed czar back pretty far um and shine as well he's doing some good work as well i went down at the start of the last game i almost go down there again um, and I know Zar, he likes it when we break that right side when he's playing Lola because Chepo kind of can just hide behind it and he can't really curve his shots around. Um, so this is where the game kind of becomes an issue when they get that turret over there on Chepo's side because that basically totally just not takes Zar out of the game, but it makes his lane basically unwinnable. Um, he's already getting countered. He has an 8-bit turret on his lane. Like, there's really not too much he can do. Uh, and now Chepo's starting to put down bell traps on his lane. So his lane's really difficult. So props for him for not just, you know, hard losing that lane. Uh, but, I mean, Chepo just three shots him. So he's kind of got to relax and take his time. He called out actually to switch, which I think was really smart. Because then I was just able to two-tap Chepo there. And he can do really well versus Shine. So he just, you know, gets his kills over there. I'm going to break that right side so they can't put the turret behind it. And so... Zara, you know, just has an easier time on that right side. Chepo won't really have anywhere to hide behind. And I still got a lot of curves in the bank right now. So I'm, you know, feeling pretty confident about our position right now. OG gets a really nice kill over there on Poyo. And then he does, I don't know, like, I, he didn't do that much damage, I guess. Uh, well, actually, well, he, did, he does like 14%, I think. So that's pretty good. I have a curve loaded up. 
Shine's one shot. Chepo's one shot. OG starts to get to Wiggle in there. He gets a kill. He gets another top on Poyo. So really great plays there by OG. And again, I had curves in the bank. So I'm just like, okay, let's just back up Shine. Uh, I don't need to get the kill with the curve. And Zar gets his clone. He's going to shoot the safe with it. Um, we're going to get a kill over there on the right side. OG, I think, gets a kill over there on the left. He does. We kill the last remaining guy. And that is going to be it for the safe zone set. I was going to spin on them. But I got killed before I could spin. So that's going to be it for the second set. Let's hop into the third set and show you guys what happened in knockout. So going into the first game in knockout, I think this uh, was actually pretty even. So we end up first picking Sprout here. I think both throwers and... Or well, I don't know about both throwers. Maybe both throwers. But I think... I know 100% Tick is banned and Brock is banned. And Brock is used as kind of like a set when you don't have first pick and you have second pick and somebody first picks a thrower. You kind of just kind of forfeit the first round and then break the map open and then by breaking the map open you just you know kind of dominate a thrower when you have range and it has no walls so chepo's gonna go down there at the start they elected to go with byron because i mean byron's just a really good brawler into throwers you're not gonna beat a thrower with anything outside of a thrower so you kind of have to just out hp it if that makes sense just have so much hp they can't do anything we had a really good draft, though, because we ended up with our lanes being Lola and Bo. So there's not really going to be too many brawlers that can just walk down in a three-tile gap on a Lola and a Bo without getting clipped for a ton of damage. Um, this is actually a really weird 2v2 here because Pam just kind of throws the turret onto OG. And OG has to focus Shine, and I have to focus Poyo. And I think it could have worked out, um, except I got gadgeted by Poyo and then... OG shot Shine once, and I don't know if he was trying to shoot Shine or if he was going for Poyo, but both shots bounced back into Poyo, so they ended up getting the win there, but I think either way it wouldn't have mattered because I had my clone, uh, or sorry, because I got Gadget and had no ammo. Um, my lane is a little bit difficult because I'm a Lola versus a Byron, uh, so he obviously has a lot more range than I do, but he is out of Gadgets in the first round, which is a lot of Gadgets wasted. Um, so I'm kind of just trying to tie while OG and Zar just do their thing because OG should just autom not automatically win his lane But he should have a pretty easy time considering he's a thrower and no one can really hit him um, So he's just shooting over the walls. He's doing his thing He gets a tap over there on shine really good taps and now it's a 3v2. So it's just let's not throw the game um, So I'm gonna move up the right side We're trying to give the Janet no hits because once the Janet gets that fly ability She can just fly onto sprout and then auto aim three times and get the kill. So we're playing really passive We're not allowing any hits whatsoever um, And then we all have our supers. So this part doesn't really matter Zara just walks up auto aims Poyo and gets the kill So now we're on to round three and we got a sprout wall. We have finally a Lola super and I have three gadgets, so I'm just going to throw that up, launch the gadget down, and try and get some position with it because it can't really do any damage to me. Zara and OG get a really good pinch there onto Chepo, though, so this kind of becomes a little bit easy. We're going to be able to get the kill over there on Poyo. Good shots over there by OG and Zara, and now Shine's kind of just trapped, so... He's going to go down, and that is going to be game number one going to us. All right, so going to the next game, we've won five in a row at this point. Um, and so it's going pretty well. This match was also at 1230 in the morning. Uh, not noon, but like past midnight. So everyone was pretty happy to just get this game done with, even though it is qualifying for a $65,000 tournament, which is a lot of money. Uh, Chepo's gonna just be in the mid trying to juke. OG tries to trap him. Unfortunately, he doesn't, but I mean, Chepo, he's just being kind of silly right now. He's kind of just tanking every shot. So OG's gonna get the kill pretty easily. I got my Lola gadget pretty early, so we're gonna be able to get that kill. And then Zara's gonna kill Zar, or Zar is gonna kill Shine on the left side. So, I mean, pretty easy uh, first round for us. And at this point, I th it's really hard mentally once you've lost like five in a row to uh, just randomly start winning everything. So we're going to get some nice shots there onto Chepo. Zara's is going to kill Shine and then spin on him. I know he really doesn't like Shine. And then Poyo's going to give it his all. He does kill me, but that is going to be it. Clean 3-0, 6-0 win for us. Um, and I am showing this because we won and because it's a big qualifier match. Uh, but it would be kind of, you know... 
I don't really know what the word is, but I do want to say these guys did sweep us literally two days later in Queso Cup regular season. Um, so props to them. Uh, I feel like it would be kind of mean of me to show them getting swept and not say, you know, what they did to us two days later. So they're they're a good team. Um, they're getting a lot better. Uh, but I'm glad that we did win the ESL qualifier because it obviously does mean a lot more than the uh, Queso regular season. But that's going to be it for me today. I'm probably going to be in Sweden for MSI, so don't expect too many videos in the near future uh, for the next week or so. But I will be back and trying to upload semi-consistently, so that's going to be it. I will see you guys around, and uh, yeah, peace. Hey you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best, the most handsome, the most loved player on your team, and support your favorite creator at the same time? Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.